You're listening to the Higher Attitudes Podcast. Inspiration to lift your soul. Hello again, this is Tom. And for this episode, I have something very personal to share with you. I ask only that you bear with me on this one as I share this. You see, a few weeks ago, I recorded an episode about a practice that I call prayer journaling. Now, in case you missed that episode, I talked about how I began using my journal to help me focus and concentrate as I prayed. The way I do it is pretty simple. I start by simply writing a letter or a note to God in my journal. I usually start with, Dear Heavenly Father. And then I begin pouring out whatever is inside that needs pouring out. Sometimes I write about what I'm grateful for, or I ask questions, but often I bear my soul to God and explain how I'm feeling as I go through this bumpy ride we call life. I pause when I have written down what I need to write, and then I give God a turn. I invite you to listen to the full podcast where I talk about this process in more depth. You can find that at http colon slash slash higherattitudes.libsyn.com. That's higherattitudes.libsyn.com. Or you can find it on iTunes by just searching for Higher Attitudes. As I have practiced this form of prayer, I have learned a lot about personal revelation. I am grateful for God's willingness to speak to our minds and hearts through His Spirit. He uses our minds and our capacity for language and thought to inspire us in a way that we can put into words what we are feeling if we take the time to listen and to practice. For me, this practice helps me focus in a hyper-busy world where distractions are everywhere, each shouting as loud as they can for a sliver of my attention. Anyway, I went through a period where I was uncomfortable writing down what I thought God wanted me to know. I wondered if it was just my wishful thinking. I think this is a common concern with this practice, with this idea of prayer journaling. But what I experienced was that as I continued to practice— I realized that what I felt as I prayed was the same spirit influencing me that I had always recognized as the Spirit of God. It was just that now I was paying closer attention and listening more. I looked at the prayer journal I keep on my computer just before I began putting together the notes for this episode. I have 899 entries now in my prayer journal. Some of these entries are short. Some I took a half an hour or even an hour as I wrote to God and listened for the feelings the Spirit gives us so that we might know the mind of God for us. I feel so richly blessed by this practice that I want to share something that I felt inspired to write as I was listening for God's inspiration this past February. I found it recently while I was reviewing some of the entries in my prayer journal. By the way, That's one of the big advantages of prayer journaling, is being able to go back and see what we wrote and what we felt inspired to write. I will tell you before I start that I am typically a very private person with this sort of thing. The fact that I'm sharing something personal as a podcast would never have entered my mind a year ago, I promise you. Anyway, as I said earlier, I normally start by writing what I am feeling first, And then I pause and listen for what God tells me through his spirit. And I do my very best to translate these feelings into words that I can keep. On this particular morning in February, as I opened my journal app and prepared to begin writing or praying, I felt the spirit tell me that God wanted to go first today. And that had never happened before. What could I do but give myself over to the experience Here is what I wrote as I listened for the Spirit. Dear Thomas, may I go first this morning? I call your name continually. It pleases me when you answer. It is good to hear you call my name in return. Tom, I wanted to tell you today to not worry so much about how you feel each day. Stress and anxiety is part of mortal life. I am powerful unto the calming of the seas that swell in men's souls. 
Do not feel guilty or even sad when you do not feel like praying. Instead, call my name. Just call my name and I will be there, even when you feel far away. I am the light of the world. My beacon shines for you, Tom, to see. Call out and I will guide you home. The fog is never too thick. My searching eye can always see you and your plight. I always know the state of your heart, and my bowels surge with compassion for thee. I yearn to comfort thee. I delight in blessing those who call you husband, father, and friend. I will bless them for your sake, Tom. I am your advocate with the Father, and I will hear your cries for those you love and cherish. Tell me of your righteous desires for them. I will hear you and honor the desires of your heart. I will give unto you understanding, so that you ask not for what you should not. Fear not to pray unto me, and let your desires be known. Tom, it pleases me to give you all that you need. You are a good, righteous man. You are acceptable before me. I yearn to have you close. I am willing to work miracles on your behalf. Ask for what you desire. See it. Counsel with me and I will show you the way and give you comfort and approval that your faith may be unrestrained. I love you, Tom. Have a good day. Have a good day? Wow, what a way to end. By the way, I did have a good day that day. I have a good day every time I pray and I feel the Spirit of God. And every day that I make time for prayer, I am glad I did so. My prayer journaling practice has helped me go deeper, listen better, and to feel the comfort that we are meant to feel through the Holy Spirit. Please, If you ever feel far away from God, I hope my sharing what I consider a personal gift from God will inspire you to pray more, listen more, cry out to your Father in heaven in the name of Jesus Christ, fully expecting your own answers and sweet experiences with personal revelation. Thank you for listening. We'd love to have you join us on Facebook at facebook.com slash higherattitudes. Do you have an uplifting thought to share? Why not join our Facebook discussion group? Visit the group at facebook.com slash groups slash higherattitudes to request membership. If you'd like to leave a question about a challenge you're facing, or if you'd like to share a thought about how you've overcome negativity, call 719 301 0303 and record your question or comment. Please note that carrier rates may apply. Again, call 719-301-0303 to leave a question or comment. We hope you've enjoyed the show and we look forward to you joining us for the next episode of the Higher Attitudes Podcast. Please remember that the advice offered in this show is intended for informational purposes only. Please read our full disclaimer in the show notes.